Uh, Pete, I, I think uh, the High Line has changed every American city, you know, because yeah. now every American city wants a High Line. Yeah. And, you know, I, I always felt, because my background was plantsmanship and not landscape architecture, mm -hmm. was that people really love plants. And if you put really good plants in front of people, they'll come for it, you know. Yeah, that's I what I always so. felt. I'm a good designer too, but I can say because I've made beautiful little gardens, you know, sculptural gardens and so on. But plants, I think, always were my passion since I met them. And I know that that, that is what connects you with people. I think it doesn't matter, but it needs also in the work we do. We need a sort of aesthetics to bring the wild into the community. Yes. Because otherwise I never believe that wild plants can be beautiful. <laughs> so we had to put them in the context of you know, of other beautiful plants to, to make it work. Here we are at the famous, architecturally famous, you would agree, yes, the Barbican? Iconic, yeah. yeah. Iconic. People say you either love it or you hate it. You know, <laughs> I was told that. Give me your ratio of grass to flowers, approximately. I mean, obviously it changes from situation to situation, but what's the range, you know, that you, or, or, or you said you find yourself now using more grass maybe and well, less I was flowers? saying these plants we can see here, it's almost like half and half. Mm. So I'd agree. maybe slightly more of the flowering plants, but actually not much. And the grasses, if the grasses were not here in these numbers, this would be a completely different field. It would just be yet another and, uh, perennial yeah, border. Yeah. And well, you've hit the nail on the head really, actually as a bit of an aside, I've become increasingly fed up with the formulaic nature of perennial borders and perennial plants. Right. That's where you have same plants used everywhere and same sort of combinations and there's kind of no innovation in many ways with it right. so you won't find this anywhere else no. this combination no and that's what is, i'd like to try and do you need combinations so all the time it's diverse but it's simple at the same time it is i love it the way it's designed I to doff work my cat. <laughs> Well, I've heard so much about this garden and it's taken me a long time to get here, but I finally got here. <laughs> <laughs> it's really great, even if it's mid-November and it's not the best time, but you see still some oh, fall gorgeous. colors and, and, and the grasses and the structures, which is very important for us, you know, the off-season, the skeletons, the, the um, um, uh, aesthetics of decay, this is very important for, for us here. And, and it influenced really the German attitude to see on plants. You know, when I came 20 years ago, the garden was cut down by 1st of November. Can you imagine that? You're you missing know, out on all, all the these potential, glorious seed heads, right? All the right? potential we didn't have. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the other things I, li I like to say when I was ta talking to people when they were not familiar with grasses is that brown is a color too. Yes. And, and what, what are some of the reasons we would tell people, make a meadow? Why? Well, here for, here for us, I mean, one of the reasons is it's obviously, it's a relatively low cost way in terms of management to actually um, have a, a, a long season to mown of turf. I suppose to mown turf. I mean, you know, here, here, here we have it. We right. know you could have this <laughs> or you could have that. Okay, that's sort of a drop the mic sort of thing, right? I mean, yeah. you got this or you got this. Well, I mean, obviously, the, 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 and I think one of the challenges, you know, in this, is certainly in European cities is to move away from this and only have this where you really need to have to walk around on to do things on. Sure. Um, so if we don't need to play soccer on it. If you don't need to run around it, lie on it or whatever, or walk the dog on it, this is actually has multiple benefits right and i think it's interesting in this context because this is the entrance to you know like a financial sort of business and therefore they're they're quite sensitive about their image etc and yes. one of the things has always been how would people deal with the meadow and what's been really interesting the, the banking and financial staff inside you know they now when they cut this meadow in they, they get a lot of flurry of emails flying around saying what have you done to our meadow <laughs> So, uh, you know, I think the meadow's been sort of like appropriated yeah. by, by the staff. How many species would there's you say about, are, There's about, 30, right here. about 35 species in here. And, and there's obviously, it, it, one of the things about meadows is when you're trying to make them, uh, you, you're trying to get as many of the flowers and as little of the grasses as possible. Well, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> well, I know John is coming in a slightly different way to view the world type thing. But if the, if you have fewer grasses, you get more flowers. If you right. have too many grasses, you just get grasses. 